Hey guys, welcome back. We are waiting patiently for Itzy's sneakers stage on The Late Show with Stephen Colbert. And we don't have much more waiting to go. We have a countdown clock. See? Look at that go. So, I had actually sort of forgotten that this was happening. Um, but luckily I was reminded, so that's good. I'm curious to see if Itzy's going to make a stop at The Late Show with Stephen Colbert after their New York dates on their tour, like Twice did. I was actually waiting in the airport in LA to come back from the encore shows um, when Twice announced that they were going to be there, and I tried the last minute to get tickets, and I did not succeed. But if I know in advance, I might have a better shot at picking a close day for Itzy's. Yeah, yeah. So we'll see. Let's go. Like what? Chat on give a night like that. Still love the pre chorus so much. Probably my favorite part of the song. And I was kind of critical of the choreo for the chorus in that it's not very high power itsy choreo. And it sort of felt like they designed it to be easy and accessible for TikTok and Twitter challenges. And yet, of course, I've still been watching like a lot of the challenge videos that they've been putting out. So I guess I'm a hypocrite with the uh, challenge choreo. Yep, that's Itzy for you. Thank you, Stephen Colbert. So, um, yeah, I was just saying, so I sort of expected that they would be on the show, possibly, probably, at the end of their tour, like Twice was. Although now I wonder if they're going to be, because it's not that much longer in the future, like, you know, three, four months. So, is that too soon for another appearance, especially doing the same song, even if it is in person? I'm hoping not. I'm hoping they're, they'll still be able to go. Um, because, uh, well, I think it would be good. And also, since they're so proficient at English, maybe we'd actually get some interview things and stuff. All right. Yes, we know. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Like what? Chat on, give a night like that. 
makes me wonder if maybe so it, this is the same costume set they use for the studio tune appearance right i wonder if they're saving some of the more like ornate uh queen style ones with all the, the dazzling and stuff for like a live stage And this is still a good look on Leah, even without the high pony like she had in um, the video, which really sold the like 60s mod thing. And the blue looks really good on Che with the dark, dark black hair. And the green goes really well with Yuna's blonde hair. Black and yellow, very bold. It's a good, it's a good set. I, the only one I'm not super sure about is the split leg, half pant, skirt short thing. I mean, it looks fine. It's just, it looks fine. It's just a little weird. I wonder, um, especially with this style outfit set, if this is like a little too youthful for the Stephen Colbert audience, if this is too candy pop. Let's see, I'll be interested to see what the like non Mitzi comments are like. Because, of course, whenever any of these groups are on the shows, they get a lot of support from the fandoms, but. Um, it's interesting to see the actual show's viewers who bother to go and comment on the video and uh, see what they have to say. Not that I care a ton. Uh, obviously, you know, we still love our groups, but it is interesting to see what first timers uh, who don't typically watch stuff like that uh, come up with as their, their uh, response. Okay, so that was Itzy's Sneaker Stage on The Late Show with Stephen Colbert. We're glad that uh, The Late Show and other shows in the U.S. are continuing to show um, more interest in K-pop in general and our favorite groups in particular. So look forward to seeing more of that and hopefully more in person as uh, we go forward and people continue to tour and stuff. All right. So as always, thanks for hanging out. Please like, subscribe, and I will see you guys next one. Bye.